Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today we're going to do a image transfer on wood with Mod Podge Matte. This was requested and well, that's what we're going to do. So this is just out of a magazine. And the reason you would want to do image transfers is um, maybe, you know, you want it a little bit more transparent. Maybe you only want a piece of this. Maybe you want it to be in a background so it's not as prominent. There's a million reasons. Like I won't, like this is something good I'll use on a canvas, um, either in a background or something like that. So I'm not going to, you know, ruin this and it won't fit on here anyway. Cause I was like, Oh, that would be nice, but I'm going to do something else with that. But what you do is just go in with your Mod Podge. You can also do this with your, um, Mod Podge Ultra. You would spray the wood, spray the picture, lay it down, let it dry and then proceed. So I like putting a coat down. So when it touches, it touches. And I, and you know, you could go in here and be very picky and pick where you're gonna picky, picky, ooh, pick where you're gonna use. If you wanna use the bathtub in the back, you can do this. This is just out of a magazine. And I'm gonna lay it down. And I'm gonna, now sometimes if I use just a small part of this, like maybe it was a smaller thing. I, I'm so sorry. Um. My nephew got a haircut, so they sent me his picture, which is delicious. Okay, stop. Um, so you would go over top of it, leave it dry and all, but that's not what we're going to do now. I'm just going to really give it a good push. And you can use a brayer, credit card. Let's see here. And just kind of burnish it. And you don't have to burnish it everywhere. Maybe you only want pieces of it. It's up to you. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. That's it. Then we'll leave it dry. And when we come back, we'll take it off and I will show you what it looks like. In the meantime, I'm just going to cut this extra off. I'll see you when I get back. Okay. So you can see we're nice and dry and you'll know when you touch it, it won't be cool. Like it could be cold sometimes. So it's ready and you can see I cut the rest off. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna squirt with some water. I'm gonna leave it sit for a second, just for a quick second um, to soak in. And then you just start rubbing with your finger. Now it'll come off like a layer. Like you can see here, we're getting a lot of the paper off. Sometimes a white film will be left, but you could just go back with water. Now make sure it's dry because if not, you'll take off chunks, which I don't care if that happens sometimes. I'm like, yeah, okay. You know, you, you go with it, but oh, so delicious. Just wait. I didn't want to start this off camera because I didn't want, you know, some people when I do that, they get upset because they want to see the whole thing or they don't think I, you know, whatever. So I decided to do it like this. Here we go. Here we go. Now, if you, you know, this is an old card. You see how it's scraping? But what happens is, and it's fine, you can do it. You can still see some of the, like, you know, it gives you a little bit of scratches and everything like that. Um which I don't care, but again, it's all preference. Okay. Oh, Mod Podge is magical. Okay, so I'm gonna show you. This could be anything. Like I said, this was a magazine. You could do a picture. I use, I know some of you don't, you know, use it or you, it doesn't work for you, but inkjet printers work for me. I can do it. Um, you know, it does, it might not come out as vibrant or as full, but it doesn't matter. Um, so now, you know, you can go and clean off these sides. Now remember, Mod Podge is a sealer as well as a glue. So it's sealed now. So we can paint on top of it. You could transfer something on top of it now, if you want, like if we're layering, let me show you what I mean. All right, so let's say we're doing a plaque or something. So I have this sitting here and it says girl gang. Well, maybe, you know, you want this. 
Um, so we can lay the glue down, lay this on top, leave it dry, do the same thing. And what happens is boom, then you're laying in another layer and you can definitely do that as mixed media. Um, so, I mean, it's totally, you know, up to you. You can paint on this now. I would draw and put one of my little girls on here, but I mean, look at that. And yes, you can, you know, you could see the scratches and, and, uh, when I was taking this and, you know, pushing it down, it kind of like dented in the wood. So just be a little careful with that. It's not a big deal though. I mean, it depends. You're not going to get a perfect, perfect picture because you're transferring. Um, but you can get a pretty darn, pretty, I had to try not to curse, pretty gosh darn uh, good one. So that's where we're at. And like I said, beautiful and it's dry already and it's sealed. So I love it. I love it. Oh, that's my daughter. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and uh, let me know if you guys use this. Any more questions, just ask. And I have a lot more of uh, little videos coming out just of people, you know, asking certain things um, maybe that I've already done, but it's so hard to find in all the videos. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.